Welcome to my wife and I, and my name is Grand Commander. My name I'm, is Adamze. I'm a comedian. I'm a pharmacist. Yeah, so comedian and pharmacist. People will be wondering, how did you work? Don't worry, that's a story for another, for another day. day. Yeah, <laughs> by the way, today on the series, uh, we're talking about how do you know you're in love. So I know a lot of ladies will be eager and itching to know um, how do you know you're in love to get access to this. The guys as well want to get access to this. And so I'm just going to jump right into it and throw the question to her how do you know you're in love okay ladies so, first uh, I hear you. <laughs> okay so how do you know you're in love for me personally i know i'm in love when i'm always wanting to be near that person always want to, to talk to that person always want to help that person always wanting to be in a position where i can assist in any area or any aspect of their lives um, I've always been that kind of person that wants to help others. Well, that's why I'm a pharmacist. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So for me, um, having that urge to do that to that one person, yes, I want to help everybody, but there's always that one special person you want to go the extra, extra mile for. So when there's that one person in my life, I know that, oh, come, there's something, oh. I think I'm falling in love. Well, yes, in yeah, your mind. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> so from a guy's perspective, how do you know you're in love as a guy? Um, for me, it would be, you know, like she, she rightly said, wanting to be involved in that person's life. You know, you want to be a part of that person's positive progress. Because when you're in love with someone, there's the likelihood of you being a positive influence there's also the likelihood of you being a negative influence in that person's life you know because love can go south it can go you know good and rosy and all that it can just turn around and go south um but you know you're in love with someone when you always want to be around that person you always want to share that same space Thanks. that same energy that same connection with that person you want to be a part of that person's decision making process mm -hmm. not just once in a while but on a daily mm -hmm. basis that is a strong indication that's a strong pointer to know for you to use uh to know that okay yes you are you're, you're yeah. in love yeah. yeah with that person even when the person is annoying you yeah even of obviously you want to be still be still, still be, be a there. part of that person's that person you know, um, you still want to be a part of that person's decision process or whatever that person is going yeah. through. So personally, that's how, I guess we, we think I like them. So I think that's how we know we are in love. Yeah. Yeah. So even when, even when the other person annoys you or offends you, but you, you still find a way to still remain in that person's circle, circle in that yeah. person's space, in that person's, this, whatever it is, you're still there. Mm -hmm. Even when the person farts, no. you know, whilst you're having breakfast. No, you said me. <laughs> I think I'm spilling out too much, too much information already. But don't, don't worry, don't worry about it. So basically, that's how to know you are in love. And once, once you know, or you start to notice this little, little, you know, um, indications, gone are the days when you say, okay, it, it may still be there. You start feeling butterflies in your tummy and all of that. Yeah, it's normal. People differ, but once you know you want the best for that person, that's a strong indication that you're in love. Yeah. Cheers, guys. We'll see you at the next video. Um, and please don't forget, if you have any other issues, please leave a comment. If you have any other things you want us to talk about, leave it in the comment and section. Please don't forget to like our video and subscribe. And send us an email at grandcommander at gmail.com. Thank you. Cheers. We love you guys. Bye.